Okay, this is uh, Shoot Steel for Robin Hood's Playground.com. Uh, we're going to be flashing a BenQ drive with 1.66 uh, beta jungle flasher. I want to uh, tell you first about uh, whenever you uh, download uh, jungle flasher, you'll notice if everything else is installed, you'll uh, have a firmware uh, folder. Open that firmware and it says place firmware here. And that literally means place a copy of all, all the iExtreme and original firmwares for uh, the drives that uh, you're going to be uh, flashing. I load them all up so they're ready to go uh, for whatever drive I'm going to uh, intend on flashing. But uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, BenQ drive hooked up. I'm going to cut it on. Eject the drive. Cut the drive off. Halfway, cut it back on. Then I'm gonna, uh, at this point, uh, start up my jungle flasher. All right. Go right to our, my MTK. Uh, Flash 32 tab, and uh, you see we got the drive properties here, uh, so it's good to go. The drive's never been flashed before. Um, you'll go to BenQ Unlock, and you'll send the magic keys to the drive, and. If you're successful, flash your properties will pop up. What we're going to do now is going to read. As you can see, this uh, moves a lot quicker than the Samsung. I'm going to save a copy of my original firmware uh, somewhere on my computer. Hit save. And it, then it tells me that my BenQ firmware has been loaded to the source buffer. Do I want to auto load the BenQ iExtreme? Yes. I do. As you can see here, it's a valid key. It's already been spoofed. Um, now all I have left to do now is write. I want to thank everyone at uh, Robinhood's Playground and uh, dot com for all their help and. Um, I hope your flashing is a success. One last thing, hit my outro ATA reset. Once, and you're done. All you do is cut the drive off at this point, disconnect it from your computer, and you should be good to go.